Good. All right, we're gonna go over the most recent update, I guess, from DinoJet in terms of getting a tune loaded um, to your PowerVision. Uh, as of right now, uh, most of the tunes that are like super commonly bought are going to be preloaded when you buy the PowerVision from us. I will put the tune on it. Um, I would say within the next month or so, um, any stock injector tune will come preloaded. So the 150, 160, 170, and the 195 RR. Um, and most of the RR stuff is, is going to come preloaded. Um, but if you just so happen to get this from us and it, it doesn't come preloaded, we're just gonna kinda go over the process. So um, the newest updates uh, on the PowerVision is you do not really need to like do the merry process. All you need to do is take the PowerVision this machine's already set up. All you need to do is plug it in, key on. When the DinoJet powers up for the first time, it's going to immediately get a PV info file, which pulls a lot of information from the ECU. That's all you need to do is power up the device. Now we can unplug it. You go to your computer, take your USB, attach a file, go to the power vision. Sometimes the power vision might not show up the very first time you link it to to your computer simply just unplug it wait a second plug it back in and now it should pull up perfect example it didn't pull up I wonder if it's because I'm trying to find it Power Vision, PV Info. Send that to John at WaylandTune.com. Include. These are something that we we're not doing. So like, say I want a. This is a 2020 RR. Just say you for some reason didn't get the tune. WS195 RR. Invoice number two nine 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 blah 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 whatever. Please put that in there. If you bought it from one of our dealers, you can include you know um, say you got it from XXX. Just include the you know who you actually bought this from from us. You will send that to me. I will send you back a the tune file in it. So this machine already has multiple tunes in it so then you would just download the tune file and then from your downloads you would drag that in so here's your power vision with all the tunes and your might look a little bit different depending if it's been updated or whatever but you want to make sure it's in the main screen just the power vision you would take your tune and just drag it into the power vision I'm not going to do that because this tune doesn't match this client's car, but you would then take this device Key on the machine. This is a good one. So say your screen's on backwards, right? You want it to look this way. You go in here, go to device tools, settings, rotate screen. Wow, it flipped it. So now you could put it on either side. Flash tune. 
the tune you want to run, you'll click on that. This one's on a 250RR package right now. It'll give you a little bit of description, give you some like tune compatibility file, the tuner that wrote the tune, which is me, and then you would click the center button to start to flash. I don't know if I, I mean, it doesn't need to be flashed because it's already on this tune right now. And that is also another thing. You can tell which tune you're currently running by the asterisk. So if you want to switch back to a pump gas tune, this client has upgraded with us from the very beginning. So you can see he has all his tune files in here. We, you know, so the 195RR and then the 195RR ID, this would indicate that we're running our injector dynamics injectors. And then now he's went to our bigger turbo. So the X normally designates um, the FP green turbo and those will always have big injectors. So that's just a little bit of, you know, familiarity with the way the device works. Um, another thing is, you know, obviously you get your diagnostics so you can read codes, this car doesn't have any codes. Anything that's stored no historic codes. If you wanted to clear them, reset maintenance, reset belt life. Um, the other thing here is device tools. So say you wanted to configure your gauge, your gauges that you can actually see here. So you can set up multiple screens. You have four screens of setup. So this is kind of like what we normally set up the first screen as. But you could set them up to whatever you want and like some other things here so you have you have things that you can like log configure gauges let's just say like the most common one people are like my egt is really high it, it's calculated it's not really gt these things do not have an exhaust gas temp i don't i don't particularly know why they include it in here because it's an inferred value but uh, most of these other values are important and they're accurate. So um, you can kind of scroll through them and pick out the good ones. You know, big things, battery voltage, temperatures, air to fuel ratio, boost pressure, things like that. Those are the important ones you want to look at. But, um, you know, we just wanted to update this because things have changed. We used to have to marry the ECU to it. This device will also ask you, like, if it's your first time flashing and there's a lot of files on the PowerVision, it'll ask you, do you want to delete non-compatible files? You can hit yes. That is okay. That's not a big deal. It's prompting you to do things that are normal. So just continue with it. I'm going to flip this screen back because he normally has it like this. But yeah, basically, uh, these are things you would see. So here's like a cold start, right? Doesn't display values. It's gonna take a second more to, dis to start displaying values. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's basically what you got going on. So, yeah, just stay updated with us. It's like, I know it might be a little bit unfamiliar to most, and we wanted to update this video because the process has changed a little bit, but it's a really simple device to use. Um, we're also gonna show you if you want to flash multiple vehicles in the next video. So, thank you.